Hey guys, it's DJ. So a lot of my friends suggested that I should do a tutorial on how I make my digital art. So, so here we go. I know some amount of people think that you need expensive programs or very fancy programs to make high quality digital art. Actually, it's not about the price of the programs. Obviously, there are many good programs out there that are completely free but are actually quite good enough to make decent digital artwork and some people are just so talented that they can make high quality artwork with MS Paint. You should go look it up, it's actually a thing. The program that I use is called Fire Alpaca. If you want to download it, I'll leave a link down below so you can download it. It's completely free. So that being said, let's get into it. Alright, if you already downloaded it and you opened the program, you should probably have a screen like this. It might look a bit different since I already customized mine to my liking, but most of it should be the same. To make a new picture, go to File and simply click on New. You can choose the size of your drawing, I'm going with 480 x 640 pixels. Then just click OK. Alright, now we can start drawing. What I'll be demonstrating in this tutorial are the basics that will help you understand the program and how to use it, as well as some interesting features within the program. So I won't be focusing on animating or making digital art in this video. If you guys want tutorials on that, I'll put a poll at the card so you can vote for either an art tutorial or an animation tutorial, it's completely up to you. Now let's move on with understanding the layout. On the top of the screen, you have some of these options. For now, let's look at the important one, which is the one that says Window. In it are many options, which if you click, will open a window. You can drag and drop and put the windows wherever you want. Although you won't be using all of these, I suggest you to add the important ones, which are Color, Brush Preview, Brush Control, Brush, Navigator, and Layer. Next is the toolbar with tools that we'll be using to make the artwork. Beside that is the Options bar, where it will display options based on the tool that you select. For now, I'll just draw a little character here to help with the tutorial. Moving on to the Layer window that we've opened. At the bottom of the window, you'll have a few things. This one is to create a layer. The next one is to make a folder to organize your layers. This one is to duplicate a layer which is making two of the same layers. The one next to it is to merge a layer to the layer below. And the last one is to simply delete. On top of the layer window, you can change the transparency of a layer. The Protect Alpha checkbox is to only allow you to draw over the objects on the layer you have selected. You can drag and move layers up and down too. The layer above will appear on top of the other layers. The little circle is to make a layer visible or invisible. The brush window is basically where you have different brushes for the brush tool. You can preview the brush you have selected on the brush preview window. The brush control window is to control the size and the transparency of a brush. The color window is obviously to change the color of a brush. And finally, the navigator window is just to zoom in, zoom out, rotate, or flip your picture. Now that all of those are out of the way, we can move on to some interesting features. Tools like the brush, the eraser, and the brush select tool have these snap tools where they can make things like circles and lines and even 3D perspective. These are great for making comics and they help a lot while making artworks. Another thing that I really like is the correction option, which will correct your strokes from being a bit shaky to more smooth. Fire Alpaca also has onion skin mode for animations under the view option. This program also has comic templates if you go to the comic tab when you open a new artwork. So those are all the basics you need to know to start using Fire Alpaca. It's pretty easy. Let me know if you guys want another tutorial. I'll be making my animations too. 
For now, let's end it with a little speed paint to demonstrate. <laughs>